I always knew I was going to, or I knew I wanted to run my own business, but I had no idea what that was going to be. My, um, my grandfather on my mother's side was um, career military, Army Air Corps, Army Air Force, ran the PXs. So my mother grew up all over the country, all over the world, and um, very entrepreneurial man. And my father's side, my grandfather was uh, owned a children's shoe store, uh, first in Oklahoma and then in Los Angeles. So my father grew up uh, fitting shoes to, uh, to children. And um, my uncle was an accountant. And so when I was younger, I started to kind of formulate that that seemed like a good thing and was encouraged. Accounting is kind of the language of business. And so I went down that road and, and really to, to be building a set of experiences and, and knowledge to what end at that time I didn't know. So spent some time working with uh, Arthur Anderson as an auditor and then uh, within Arthur Anderson as a, as a consultant and uh, got to work in their small business division. So saw you know, a lot of small companies and how differently things were done in different industries and took that experience and took it back to business school at, uh, at Duke University and got some more study. And, and Duke is known for uh, group type of work, so really team collaborative work. Uh, and from there went and had a number of experiences with um, uh, Walt Disney, with, um, with Sara Lee in, uh, in North Carolina, and then quite a bit of time <clears throat> in Boston with uh, the Thompson Corporation. Thompson Financial, now Thompson Reuters, um, and spent a good deal of time there running different businesses, getting involved with their, uh, their venture group and their international group. And uh, this was about in the 19, late 1990s when um, the CFO of that company, uh, his wife was uh, taking a marketing company public. So I went out in 99 and uh, helped organize that company to take it public. And that was probably the beginning of the end of the, uh, of the dot-com uh, boom and bust. Uh, but it was great experience and that's what I was after. Um, and then from there I was looking for something new to do with my uh, education and experiences and um, ended up uh, by helping a friend who'd been in the retail financial services business, which is what this is, where everything touches everything in the big financial world touches you and me retail financial services and uh, helped a friend started by consulting and as I uh, saw how the business worked I said you know I really I like this it's it's helping people uh, it's math it, it's a bit of science it's it's art it's, it's a lot of uh, relationship to know what the right thing to do is and, and how to present it and I was really captivated by uh, the retail end of financial services and um, you know from there went to work for one of the, the bigger uh, investment houses and was there just a couple of months and realized that you know, what was happening in that office was not the way that I thought that the industry should work. You know, it should be all about the client and really those offices are, are uh, as much about the firm. And um, so moved over to uh, more of a regional size house and um, discovered there, was there just a couple of months and it was bought by another big bank. And, Having been in the industry a short time at that point, I said, you know, there's got to be a better way to do this than be explaining uh, to your clients every other day why this big bank is better than that big bank. And so I started to look towards the route of independence. And independence at that time was really about, um, you know, maybe people who were uh, on the backside of their career or, or sold insurance and a little bit of securities. Uh, but it really started to blossom at about that same time in the uh, late 90s that it was really a place that successful people who had their own ideas who weren't afraid to run their own business pay the rent and pay employees uh, to go and be able to give pure independent uh, financial advice to people and so I started down that path very early in my career because this is really this is really about people and how money is in support of their life and some people love their money, they count it every day, and others hardly like to look at it. But it really is a representation of value that they've created in their life, and it is totally to be used in support of how they want to live their life, support their life with their family. And um, I think it's a great challenge uh, and honor to be working with them to, to make the most of what they have 
given all of the unknowns and uncertainties that exist in the financial markets, in the, uh, in the tax code, in the economy, and what interesting or different things that come up in people's lives. So it's, it's really like a giant moving puzzle. Uh, it keeps me engaged every day to get up, go to work, uh, and help the people who are Frank Financial clients.